Welcome to a video tutorial from Valencia Photography Workshops and me, Stephen Power. This one is about how to load a 120 roll film back on a view camera. In this video I want to look at roll film backs for medium format cameras. This is for a Horseman 970 camera. I've got two roll film backs here. This black one was made around 1970 and the one on the right, the grey one, was made around the same time as the 970 camera which is probably mid-1960s. They both take 120 size film and each negative measures 6 centimetres high and 9 centimetres across and in inches that is 2 and a quarter by 3 and a half inches. The more recent model has got a little holder where you can put the end of the film box to remind you that you've got film in and what kind of film it is and you'll also see that I've put a label at the bottom which I might take off at some point which says dark slide on it. This is just to remind me that I have to take the dark slide out before I expose the film to light. Um, it just pulls out from the side but as I was quite new to it I found that I was forgetting to bring this out and so I was having a number of negatives exposed just onto the dark slide itself and no photograph was actually appearing. So it just simply slides in and out. Um, I've got a little bit of string there to remind me to pull it as well. On the older model it doesn't have the little holder for the film box but you can set the film speed by turning a dial at the back and the film speed can be set in either DIN which is a, a German film speed rating or in ISO which would have been originally ASA uh, when this was made. It's worth bearing in mind that ISO is not a word, it's actually an abbreviation for an international standards organisation and you can choose whether to remind yourself that you've got colour film in or black and white film by turning this little wheel at the back and then setting that to the film speed that you need. So now let's have a look at how we get the film into the film holder. It's basically the same process for both of them, but I'll use the more recent one for the demonstration. So, I'm going to load this roll of Ilford HP5 into this Horseman 6x9 roll film back and show you how I do it. Um, so I've just made a start and taken the film out of the box and it's foil wrapper which can be a pain to undo. And then the next thing I'll do is open the roll film back with a slider at the back, I don't know if you can see at the side, if you can see that. Push that down to open. And then take out the compartment for loading the film. I'll just put this one to the side. Now, so it's important that the film is loaded onto this left hand side. Um, so we'll take out the empty spool from the previous chute and it's spring loaded so that should just clip quite nicely into there and then we'll undo the film just make sure that you take off this sticky label completely and um, okay now it's important that the black side of the film is facing out from the film plate so this spring-loaded film plate is where the film will pass across. 
and the black side of the film has to pass across that facing outwards. So and that's because when this is unwound further, you will come to the emulsion side of the film here. So that's got to be facing out towards the rear element of the lens. So we'll spring load this with the, push that into the spring loaded, catches the with the black side facing out and then just pull it gently round until we come to the empty spool and you, if you look on the spool you'll see um, a long slit there's two actually and we need to put the end of the film into that, not quite as easy as it looks all the time, but we just kind of get that in there. I just let it push it in as far as I can and then gently turn the film loading arm until we're sure that it's on. Okay, now we'll just move the winder I don't know if you can see this but there's a little hole at the bottom the of the loader and we see an arrow as soon as we get the arrow in that hole we stop now the job now is to get this back in here and with the dark slide over to my right hand side this should fit quite neatly back into the Bring the outer casing back over and then make sure that that clips in quite firmly and then lock the back. Then the first thing to do is just move a little catch here which will allow the film to wind on and if I keep winding on and looking into the little window at the top We'll see a figure one appear and then it stops winding and push that back and now the film is ready to go. It's loaded and ready to be put onto the back of the camera. And that's basically it and hope that was helpful for you. In forthcoming videos, I'm going to be out and about with the Horseman 970 and talking about how I set up a view camera or a technical camera or a field camera, whichever you might like to call it, to take photographs. And I hope you will subscribe to the channel, stay in touch for more of the same.